So what is your questions that you have about the Bible, the things that you don't believe in? Christian Savage now. Yeah. Follow my yeah, YouTube channel. Now. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I'm Christian Savage. Oh, you know, me and my brother talking about You know what I'm saying? But, uh. Um. Hey, this is natural. This is herbal. Who wrote okay. Genesis? 
You get what I'm saying? Oh, who wrote Genesis? You get what I'm saying? Like, who wrote it? It was the beginning of. When, yeah, when you go to the book of Exodus, it talks about Moses. <laughs> Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible, which is Genesis, the book of um, Exodus, the book of Leviticus, the book of Deuteronomy, and the book of... Um, Does it speak about how he, you know... How he? Yeah, how he, you know... How he came to this. Yeah. And, you said what? Say and, and was able to write the story. You said how he was able to write the story? Yeah, does it speak about that? Yes, it does. Because what happened was Moses, he he kind of lost his identity for a minute and he was out in Egypt with um Pharaoh. Then. <clears throat> but oh, God remember when you go to the book, what is it? Um Exodus chapter three, I believe. When it talks about when God came, I'm, I'm not gonna say it. people say it's God, but it was God. You know, He sent the angel as a messenger to come through to to um come in contact with Moses through the burning bush. Y'all heard about the burning bush? No, I didn't heard of the burning bush. Oh, you didn't? Well, the angel spoke to Moses through the burning bush, and he was basically telling him he's about you know God is trying to you know bring him back to him so he can go free all the um the people all the Israelites that was in slavery out in Egypt. So when he did all of that, Moses had to do numerous of things to you know to be fit and built and strong to do that stuff. What are some of the things he had to do? He had to first he had to go on a 40 day fast with no water. No water. And no food. But he was led by the spirit to do that. Humanity today, we can't do that unless we're led by the spirit. But when he went on that fast, it's things that came with that. The Ten Commandments came with that. The laws and statutes came with that. The 613 laws came with that to Moses to give to the people. This is what you're supposed to follow from God. This is what God wants you to do. So basically what I'm saying is God gave him the knowledge to write these books. Guess what came with it fast. Well, say, okay, <clears throat> okay. Turn the camera on me real quick, y'all. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Now, look. Now, okay. Now, I, I understand the, the beginning of time with God creation, but as far as, okay, when God, when Adam and Eve had kids, and so far down the line, they had a Cain, and there was a, who was it, John? Or somebody like that. It was like supposed to be a Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. Abraham. Abraham. No, not Abraham. Abraham. <laughs> Abraham. Abraham. Okay. Ain't no Abel. Abel. Well, well, however you, you call know. it. However you call it. Yeah. But when they fell and when they was born, they bumped heads. And Cain was the evolution of Allah. And huh. Abraham was the evolution of Christianity. That's how Allah. That's in the Bible now. But it's like, we were looking. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but that's not how I am. But right. I mean, wait. But you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. See, they say that was the evolution of the Allah. So Cain was raised and the Allah was his descendant. You know what I'm saying? So explain that more to me because I'm kind of, you know, so, <clears> so explain <throat> that more to me. About oh, I'm kind of confused. No, say it one more time. You said what? Okay, I said, I when Cain. You said you got a headache. I heard that. Yeah, y'all ain't okay. So, man, YouTube, YouTube, I, subscribe. I, I tell you, bro. Now look, now yeah, it's, it's real though. It's in the Bible. Now Cain was the descendant of actually Adam <clears throat> and you know. and Adam and Eve. It was Cain and it was Abram. You know what I'm saying? Abram was the Christ took after Jesus Christ. <clears throat> you know, and Cain was supposed to be following another route, which is was Allah. But Allah, you know what I'm saying, was you know. Uh, uh, I love, you know, that that's that, that that kind of about the envy. You know what I'm saying? That kind of about the envy is in the, the whole destruction of Christianity and Allah together and, and it kind of bump heads, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get the fans, you know, the people that's watching a better understanding of the start of the Prophet Muhammad and the Jesus Christ being the real prophet and Allah not being the being the counterfeit prophet from Cain, but they broke from Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. How can they be false? How could they not see? How could they not? You know, like how could you not see the same truthful meaning? 
You know, how, how could it be false? How could one be false and one be true? You know what I'm saying? They both came from Adam and Eve. You know what I'm saying? How could it, I mean, that, that's all I'm saying. God put God put his spirit and, 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 and put his all into Adam and Eve. But they both had kids. They don't got a road that went like this. It came with, with Allah and Abram went with the Christianity. So how is Allah not real and Christianity not? I mean, why is it a big debate? You know what I'm saying? Why, why is it a separation between the two? When they both came from the same thing. When they both came from God. That's all I'm saying. First, before I explain, what um, where did you get the information from? I got it. Well, actually, I read it in the Holy Bible. <laughs> you know, so I, I don't remember what chapter name because, like I said, I'm not really religious, but I do remember reading or uh, coming across that passage in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it was a um. I think you probably read something probably a little wrong. See, <clears throat> the Muslim, the, the nation, I ain't going to say the nation, I'm just going to say Muslim. They came from the nation of um, Islam. Ishmael. Ishmael, okay. Yeah, it's, yeah that, Ishmael, I, not That's Islam. right. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. You too. It was Ishmael. I'm sorry, you too. Yeah, it was the nation of Ishmael. <clears throat> but let's go back to saying how Christian, say I'm a Christian. That goes back to say, Ishmael is from Christianity. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say this: Ishmael, Muslims, Christianity was actually a man-made religion, actually. And I'm gonna break this stuff down to you. But the reason why I say Christianity was a man-made religion, for one. Christianity, <clears throat> when you go to the, what is it, um, Colossians, you going to give it to me, read it to me? Oh, you, oh, because I, I, I was trying to kind of talk with it and then try to have, you know, read the scripture, but y'all can go read, you know, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. It talks about, don't be spoiled through the philosophy of vain deceit after the what? After the traditions of men. And we know that. Christianity, Muslim, whatever religion that you want to name, they all follow the traditions of man. See, the thing is, <clears throat> when I think he was trying to get to the point when he was talking about Cain, um, Cain, that was, yeah, he right. was, but um, like Cain was the evil bro. He was basically the evil brother. He yeah. was the evil brother yeah. of Abel. We know that Cain murdered Abel. We know this. And Cain, <clears throat> when it, the reason why it's a separation, I'm going to break down the separation part. The reason why it's a separation between Cain and, <clears throat> and the people of Adam, even though Cain was a descendant from Adam, he was Adam's son. The reason why it was a separation because Cain was a murderer. When you go to the book of John chapter 8 verse 44, it tells you that you're basically of your father, the devil, whenever you take up those traits. You see what I'm saying? But when it when, when you're dealing with Adam, Adam, he was holy. So that's why it was a difference, because it's a separation between cleanness and uncleanness. We know that Cain and his whole genealogy, they were all wicked. They took on the same traits as Cain. So the same, when you go to the book of um, Genesis, uh, chapter 5, I guess you can start at verse 3 or 4. When you read on down, it'll explain to you how Adam had more, how him and Adam and Eve had more children. Yeah. So his generation of people were righteous and holiness. You see what I'm saying? That's where you get the separ <clears throat> That's where you get the separation from. You see what I'm saying? It's a big separation between cleanness and uncleanness. Cain was unclean and Adam was clean. So that basically pretty much, you know, killed that whole argument right there. Now, when you want to deal with, you know, Christianity, Muslims, whatever, as y'all hear Brother Palmer say all the time, I don't deal with religious. I mean, religion, period, no religion. I don't deal with, I don't deal with no denominations. 
because the devil is operating through all of these, you know, these, basically, I'm going to say this, they're all agencies, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and they all can be a form of a cult. And we know a form of a cult is something that's vain to the Lord God, that's vain to him. We supposed to worship him in spirit and truth. Spirit and truth means spirituality. He said to serve him in spirit and truth. He never said serve him with religion because it's billions of religions out here. You know what I'm saying? Even within Christianity alone, it's thousands of different doctrines in Christianity alone. The Catholic Church is, is, is involved in Christianity. <clears throat> Jehovah Witnesses are involved in Christianity. All of that is a form of Christianity. And then you, you have the seven-day vendors. You have all kind of different denomination churches within inside of Christianity alone. And you know what else? They're all teaching different doctrines. You have a <clears throat> you have a, a church on every street corner. Why there's a church on every street corner? You see what I'm saying? They're all teaching different doctrines. Pastors don't want to come together because everybody want to be on top. Don't nobody want to really let the Lord God lead them through the spirit. You see what I'm saying? That's why I said Brother Kwame deal with this spiritual walk with Christ. He actually has an actual relationship with the Lord. But that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's real tough. So, okay, I understand now. I, I, I got Thank you, Brother Kwame. This is my family, man. I appreciate him for <clears throat> showing, enlightening me on a good word for today. We got another video coming tomorrow. Shalom. It's your boy, Brother Kwame. Kids, don't do drugs. I am out. Shalom. You got something to say? Thank you, brother. Out. Shalom. Peace.